Hello guys, myself Abhinav Gautam and in this video I will try to decode the essay paper of UPSC Civil Services main examination for you. Uh, so let's proceed. Regarding the importance of this paper, uh, it contains 250 marks in total. I mean this much weightage has not been given to any of the general studies subject whether it is history or uh, polity or geography or economy or science and tech or environment or disaster management or uh, any of them. Uh, therefore, it, it acts as a deciding factor in UPSC civil service examination. Uh, means uh, uh, scoring in general studies is not easy uh, and uh, your marks in essay paper will, uh, will definitely influence your uh, selection and rank. Now the issues which are generally raised by the UPSC in uh, essay paper are social, economical, political, ethical, administrative, governance, science and technology, environmental, women empowerment and gender equality, education, disaster management, rights and duties, sports and games and miscellaneous. Uh, under miscellaneous uh, you can expect anything means they will give you a simple quotation and ask you to write uh, thousand words on it. So you have to uh, you have to keep yourself ready for any kind of scenario means so for any kind of surprises which uh, UPSC may throw at you. So uh, miscellaneous means uh, the as uh, with the as uh, in tune with the uh, theme of the UPSC pattern means uh, that is uh, the unpredictableness of the pat of the paper. This is also depicted in the essay paper. So now uh, the sources from where you will read for your essay paper. First is complete general studies course means from here you will gather language, you will gather data, you will gather uh, you know basic definitions, concepts, fundamentals. Uh, this will basically a core structure for your essay paper. This will form a core uh, you know core uh, structure for your essay paper. Uh, the next one is editorials and articles from the Hindu Indian Express articles from magazines. This will keep you uh, this will keep you updated uh, about the relevant about the you know um, present scenarios what is happening in the society what is happening in the country and uh, this will also help you in developing a perception and uh, developing a perception becomes very crucial when you are writing an essay other important government press releases uh, these you can gather from PIV that is press information bureau uh, from uh, means uh, this will be uh, useful for information regarding important data or some facts or uh, any policy or any 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 you know government policy launched. So don't go for the very minute details about the data. Just have a rough estimation and a general trend. So that will work for UPSC examination. The very minute details of uh, data, particularly facts or figures or percentage, these are not required. These are not relevant to the UPSC. So. Next is websites of various ministries uh, uh, like external affairs, social justice, uh, women and child development, finance, home ministry, etc. Uh, basically, look for some uh, major policy decisions uh, which are taken by these ministries. And miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is basically um, under this uh, all the sources or material which you find interesting or which you find relevant uh, are covered under this topic. Uh, it, it's a very wide top means it's a very wide basket uh, so it's completely depend upon your understanding and perception. So now let us have a look about the basic structure of the essay how you means how a essay should be framed. Uh, the most important and the first part of the essay is its introduction. And it generally contains three, you know, three things. First is the definition. Second, types, if any, and why relevant in the contemporary time period. Means why you are writing your essay uh, on this topic in the present situations. Uh, definition means, uh, let us say, if I am writing an article on digital India, then I have to dis uh, I have to first define what is digital and means what is digital India. How it is uh, means how it is relevant in the present society. Why we are discussing it now. So these kind of you know these kind of uh, points should be you know uh, placed in the introduction part, and all the above points in the context of India means you have to keep yourself uh, you know uh, you have to keep yourself uh, binded with Indi uh, binded to the Indian context. The next part comes is a brief history of background 
uh, or a literary review means a literary review means uh, if uh, these basically depend upon the topics historical background means uh, what is uh, if something is done means uh, regarding on the topic means uh, if it is relevant to india you should mention that in a very you know in a very brief manner socio economic background political constitutional background a main focus over fundamental rights directive principles of state policy and fundamental duties means uh, from where you are deriving its legal sanction means uh, if uh, these kind of you know let us suppose we talk about uh, you know social justice yeah it is mentioned in uh, you know uh, fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy so mention that means uh, the means uh, the, the the information which is already available which is already available in the country the next is uh, explain the issue in detail means uh, over which you are writing the problems or any policy or any you know any decision or any um, uh any issue which is prevailing in the society if you are writing that just explain in the detail and include these points first just like causes of a disease and its symptoms what are the causes of the disease means uh, what are the causes of the problem and what are its symptoms symptoms in the society comprehensive view covering social economical political and administrative aspects uh social economic political and administrative this sequence i think uh, in my personal opinion should be maintained why social means a society starts from a family a family strengthened by a strong economy economy is strengthened by a strong political institution and a strong political institution is well governed by a well administrative setup so in my personal opinion try to maintain this sequence and uh, you know uh, try to frame your answer according to this sequence only this will uh, reduce your complexities and make your answer look very simple and attractive uh, the next is their negative impacts means negative impacts uh, on the country which uh, the symptoms which you are showing of any problem what are the negative impacts of that symptom on the social conditions on economic conditions and political conditions of the country and what are the consequences if the issues are not addressed means let us say if you are writing on any issue if you are writing on digital india so what are the issues uh, means uh, what are the consequences if you, if the digital india program or campaign is not addressed now try to highlight in very brief manner Uh, try to explain from micro to macro level means starting from the individual and moving on to the country level so uh, from micro to macro level try to, uh, means start from the base and then go to the pinnacle now the next part which uh, uh, should be considered while writing an essay is uh, steps taken to eradicate the problem means basically the cure of the problem the 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 medicine of the problem means uh, let us say you know, what are the government initiatives uh, let's start with any law or legal notification uh, which has been uh, you know uh, issued by the government we can also quote some supreme court judgments uh, if discussing any major policy like digital india then highlight its objectives and major focus areas means uh, let us say you are uh, let us suppose you are discussing any major policy you know, just uh, means uh, let us say uh, let us say digital india itself so try to highlight the major objectives and major what the government is trying to achieve what the government will achieve and what the, you know what are the benefits of it in the society means a basically a cure of to the to the problem uh, benefits means with uh, social economic political and administrative what will be the gain for society what will be the economical gain what will be the political gain and what will be the administrative gain try to cover a holistic aspect what government is trying to achieve how it will be done and its positive impacts uh, let us suppose you are discussing any policy so means uh, what are the imp- what are the impediments means what are the hurdles in your way or let us suppose you are uh, let us suppose you are uh, discussing women empowerment you are writing an essay over women women empowerment or child labor so Uh, let us suppose you have already mentioned about the uh, legal notifications released by the governments or uh, some uh, or some major 
policy decisions or some major consequences or some major you know uh, uh, major areas so now just uh, briefly try to explain what are the impediments in your way means uh, if you are going with this policy then what are the hurdles which will you know which will uh, make your way uh, more rough so that uh, towards the problem so and after that try to give the solution to those problems means if possible how to tackle those problems means what are the solution to those problems uh, uh, and if possible try to give some non governmental non governmental solutions also means uh, like uh, and diverse from different different ngos or non governmental institutions or individuals also what else can be done means what a particular individual can do uh, just try to you know try to correlate the uh, you know, the national work with the duty of the individual without without uh, you know without uh, without compulsion it should be intentional it should come from the beginning you should frame your answer in such a way that a citizen you should you are you know you are you are reminding a citizen that it is their duty towards the country and then comes the last and the final that is conclusion part of the essay conclusion is basically a short non repetitive summary of complete essay means what you have already written in the previous parts you just have to compile them and write in uh, write it in a you know non repetitive way it should not be that you have already written and you are just selecting few lines and pasting in the conclusion part no it should have completely different language and try to end your essay on a positive note means uh, uh, you know uh, with a ray of hope or you know uh, some 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 uh, positive uh, approach which will help you in finding the solution to the problem or you know uh, you know a, a a a bright future these kind of things so what are the key ingredients for a good essay uh, first is sufficient material means uh, the material which is already mentioned just like in uh, this you should keep yourself acquainted with your with the material Uh, good writing skills uh, means strong command of over grammar vocabulary and idioms you will be using these a lot without these your writing will be uh, you know uncreative and uh, um, uh, you might not be able to constrain your uh, you know your essay in 1000 words it may exceed the time limit as well as the word limit proper understanding of current affairs and burning debates data only a rough estimate means a general perception consistency and alignment means uh, you should you know your article should be framed according to the pattern which i mean which is mentioned in the uh, uh, in this video uh, alignment means uh, the you know your each and every statement must be supported by a logical reason and it should and the it and the you know the next statement should be a logical conclusion of the first one so this is called consistency and alignment means uh, in anywhere in between your article your your uh, essay should not look like a vague means uh, the the person who is reading he should not have that feeling where the means where you are driving your car means it is uh, going off the track uh, precautions avoid extremities extremes means always try to be neutral do not take very harsh stance Uh, do not criticize government policies and if you do then provide a very strong evidence in favor and i will you know i will personally recommend you please uh, means uh, please do not uh, uh, criticize government policies you are going to be a government officer so don't uh, criticize government policy this is a general perception avoid repetition in writing use synonyms do not use uh, a word more than twice on a single page use synonyms no prejudices or adherence to social taboos means do not give wrong factuals if you do not know do not write but do not give wrong factuals and try to frame sentences try to frame small sentences and paragraphs means uh, no no long sentences or long paragraphs uh, aksh academy a venture for spreading sustainable education committed to provide quality education at sustainable price by eminent professors and scientists from various iits and reputed universities Uh, for online test series and study material please visit www.akshacademy.com thank you